Welcome to Tilt Up Construction, a series of educational videos by Bob Moore Construction and GeneralContractor.com. Today we are going to introduce you to the insulated tilt wall panel and show you how it is created. Concrete, which is used to create tilt-up construction panels, is a highly durable material and works very well for commercial buildings. However, concrete on its own does not provide an effective thermal barrier for maintaining interior temperature. In storage facilities that need temperature control, like an air-conditioned warehouse for example, the construction company must add some form of insulation to the concrete walls. A popular approach to insulating tilt-wall panels is to sandwich the insulation inside the concrete panel. Here is how the process to create insulated tilt wall panels works. Creating the insulated tilt wall panel begins exactly as any other kind of concrete panel with the creation of a wood form. The next step marks the point in the process where insulated tilt wall panels differ from traditional panels. Looking at this side view of the wood form, you can see that in a traditional tilt wall panel, the work crews place rebar in the form, and then fill the form with concrete to create the panel. An insulated tilt up panel is done differently. For the insulated panel, work crews place a layer of rebar in the form. They pour a layer of concrete that doesn't fill the form, but covers the rebar. Once this layer of concrete is poured, workers immediately place stiff foam insulation on the soft concrete. The process moves quickly. The first team pours and smooths the concrete. The next team follows directly behind to cover the concrete with insulation panels. The panels are cut out precisely and number coded. Each fits into an insulated panel matrix like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Once the insulation panels have been placed, workers insert fiber composite connectors through the insulation and into the wet concrete. As the concrete dries, the connectors help the insulation to become permanently attached to the first layer of concrete. The panel is left to cure for several hours. Workers then return to the panel to add additional rebar and then pour the final layer of concrete to complete the insulated tilt wall panel. The process goes much the same as with the first layer of concrete. The first team pours the top layer of concrete over the insulated panels. Right behind them, another team of workers smooth the concrete. For the rest of the process, insulated panels work just the same as traditional panels. Once the panels are fully cured, they are lifted into place in the process that gives tilt-up construction its name. We hope you have enjoyed this explanation of the insulated tilt wall panel and how it can be used to create an effective, durable shell for a temperature-controlled industrial building. 
Bob Moore Construction has been a pioneer in tilt-up construction since the 1970s. You can click here to visit our website, generalcontractor.com, for more information, descriptions of successful tilt-up buildings, and white papers covering tilt-up construction. If you enjoyed our video, please click the like button to help us get better rankings. We will be adding more videos about tilt-up and commercial construction, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you will know when our next video is released.